Hi, I'm Thomas, and today we're discussing the Geniverse Home Power 2 Pro, a dependable backup source designed for mid size applications. Geniverse claims that this device is compatible with pretty much all home appliances. The number they use is 99%. We're going to put that to the test and see how well it stacks up against some of the competition from Anchor and EcoFlow. We've had this thing for about six months now. It was released a year ago, so we're a little late to it, but we have put it through several tests. With a maximum output of 2200 watts and an impressive energy capacity of 2419 watt hours, it's well equipped to meet your everyday needs. This thing can keep your refrigerator running for days and charge all of your devices that you need recharged daily, like a phone and a laptop. If you live in an area that has constant power outages, this is the perfect device for you. It's gonna keep your essential appliances running, provided that you don't need like excessive heat or air conditioning. And let's get into some of the specs and ports that this device actually offers. It has a power output of 2200 watts, but it could surge up to 4400 watts. It's really nice to have that double capacity when you need it, especially if you need it to handle bigger appliances, like something that's just going to draw a large power spike without risk of overworking the device. The battery capacity I mentioned before of 2419 watt hours means it can power your home fridge for 30 hours. To recharge the device, it has an AC input up to 1500 watts and a solar input allowing for up to 800 watts of power from the sun. The device has three grounded 120 volt outlets, so it has the third prong for those larger appliances, which I find super necessary. It has two USB-A quick charge ports and two USB-C 100 watt ports for your smaller portable devices, and everything's switching to USB-C these days, so that's really necessary. Now let's run some tests and see how well the Home Power 2 Pro does. We tested some everyday appliances like our coffee maker, which drained about 4% of our battery after only one pot of coffee. We ran our office refrigerator and freezer with no issues, keeping everything really cold. We even toasted a bagel with the Geniverse Home Power 2 Pro. And since we didn't have enough power to overload the system despite all our efforts, we wanted to see how much power we could draw and we stayed at about 2800 watts without overloading it, which is why the power surge feature is essential. One of the tests we put this through was lending it to our coworker Joe, who had some work done at his home. Say hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. All right, get out. He didn't have any outlets available in his work area, so we lent him this for four working days. It powered the crew's table saw, air compressor, miter saw, charged all their portable drill batteries, and their phones. After four working days, the Home Power 2 Pro ended up with 5% battery and got the entire job done. If you're often on a work site, you know that you don't constantly have access to outlets, so having a device that you know you can bring in and depend on is essential. And charging the Home Power 2 Pro is simple. You can quickly recharge it using AC power or harness solar energy with Geniverse's all weather panels. On a sunny day, these panels could fully recharge the unit in just eight hours. Solar charging is done through two eight millimeter barrel jacks on the back of each unit. Each jack can accept 400 watts of solar input, which means if you pair two of these guys, you can get 800 watts of potential solar input. These panels are also all weather. So if you set them up in the morning and you have a little mist or dew, you don't have to worry about them getting wet. AC charging is easy via a cord, this one, that plugs into a three-prong receptacle into the back of the unit. There's no power bricks here, which is great because I lose them all the time. But it charges 1500 watts that way, and that's enough to refill the battery in just a couple hours. So you can use the Home Power 2 Pro all day and have it filled up ready to provide backup power by bedtime. When people watch these videos, they're basically trying to figure out if this device is right for them. And the Geniverse Home Power 2 Pro is perfect for someone who needs to have backup power ready at a moment's notice. It isn't the most portable, weighing it at a decently hefty 61 pounds, and there's no wheels on it, so you really gotta lift the whole thing up. You're gonna wanna find a spot for this to stay put and just be ready to use when the power does go out. Geniverse does claim that this is compatible with 99% of home appliances, so you won't have to worry about it not being able to charge a larger appliance like your refrigerator. And with that 2000 419 watt hour battery capacity, you won't even have to charge it that often. This is pretty ideal for somebody that does really light camping close to glamping where you don't have like super minimal amount of stuff or a lot of walking to do, or if you need it in a home as a quick power backup source, it's gonna be the optimal device. And here's the competition. If you're looking for one of these things, you're probably looking at these two other devices too. Here we have the Anchor Solix F2000, AKA the Powerhouse 767. And over here, I have EcoFlow's Delta 2 Max. When compared to these two other products, the Geniverse exhibits some of the benefits and the drawbacks. First and foremost, the Home Power 2 Pro 
outshines its competition in energy capacity. With 2,419 watt hours compared to the 2,048 watt hours offered by both of the alternatives. Additionally, the Geniverse unit weighs approximately 10% less than the Anker Solix F2000, making it more compact and easier to move around. However, there are some areas where the competition excels, maybe even just slightly beats it out. The EcoFlow Delta II Max is lighter and more portable than the Geniverse offering. It also offers more AC outputs, better expandability, and higher output, 2400 watts versus 2000 watts. And the Anker Solix may be bigger and heavier, but it comes with wheels and this really useful pull-out handle to help it move around. Its capacity can also be expanded with an add-on battery. Both the EcoFlow and Anker units surpass the Home Power 2 Pro in terms of solar input capacity, 1000 watts of these guys and 800 watts on this. The EcoFlow also charges much faster from the AC wall power. It goes up to 3000 watts. All in all, each one of these devices has its own niche. The Geniverse Home Power 2 Pro stands out as the optimal choice for those seeking for a simple battery with substantial storage capacity, especially if mobility is not your top priority. And that said, the Home Power 2 Pro's stellar performance and features make it a reliable choice for home use. So if you're seeking protection from power outages and a way to keep essential appliances running, I can't recommend the Geniverse Home Power 2 Pro enough. While it may come at that slightly higher price, the extra capacity it offers makes it a super worthwhile investment. Thanks for watching, and check out some of our other solar generator videos right here.